Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Top Notes with Steven. I am Steven, your party host, your Sherpa to this tour guide of Cologne, your paragon of virtue. Now, today we have a good summer fragrance. Uh, 2015 was such a long time ago. Can you remember what you were doing in 2015? Yeah, me either. But we have a good one out of the house of Guerlain. It is French. In 2015, they made loam. Well, I've had this for a while now, and you can see that well, I pretty much used it up. That can tell you by personal experience, if it is a cologne that is almost empty, that means it must be a good one. Now, in this one, we have grapefruit, orange, bergamot, pink pepper, almond, neroli, vetiver, and white musk. Now, what does all that mean? Because you're, you're thinking about it, but man, he's naming all these, all these notes. What does that all that mean now? Now, that means it's citrusy, fresh, automatic, sweet, nutty, and fruity. But you're asking yourself, Steve, what does that smell like? Now, we're gonna get into that. What does that smell like? Handy dandy test trip. Let's give it a good two or three sprays. Mmm, 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 yeah, yeah. On the wet spray, the first thing that automatically comes through is that almond. Mm. You can definitely tell that they spent time in making this because nothing that is dull and boring and sad is something that doesn't smell good. That is the whole purpose of this channel because we want you smelling good. I want you smelling good. Yes, yes. Situations you would wear this in, spring, summer. Definitely summer when it's hot. Definitely summer when it's daytime. Winter, not so much. Nighttime, you could, but not too much. And you gotta realize why I say things like that because I'm giving situational occurrences that, man, he was right on that. It works better in the daytime rather than the nighttime. It works better in the summertime rather than the fall time. Because realistically, guys, there's a science to all this. You wouldn't wear a summer banger in the wintertime because it's going to get chopped up and eat up by that wind and cold. You wouldn't wear a, 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 a fragrance that's meant for the winter in the summertime because you're going to choke people out with what you wear. Like I said, guys, there is a science to this and you got to understand situational in maintaining every cologne has a situation you can wear it in. <sighs> yeah, yeah man. You can definitely smell that fresh, spicy, almond type of accord coming in when you, when you wear this. When, you, when, when that blood orange and that bergamot comes out on the dry down, yeah. Yeah, man. That white musk, not so much yet. But it doesn't mean it's not there. Vetiver and Neroli on the wet spray and the dry down, it comes through pretty prevalent. Yeah, I like this, guys. Well, as you can tell, I've worn this a couple times throughout the last, I'd say, six, seven months. And it, it's really here in Atlanta when it's, when it's hot outside. It's very prevalent and very good. It will get you compliments. Longevity on this, you're maybe looking at three to four hours. Not always the best, but hey, that means you can always reapply. One more smell. Yeah, guys, definitely a good one. Definitely a summer banger for the situations that I expressed. All right, guys, give a like and subscribe. Give daddy a big old like. 
you know any colognes that you want me to try, let me know in the comments below. And as always, stay blessed.